Then we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create an infinity symbol. We'll start with a rectangle hold control when you drag that you need a fill no stroke. Make sure the edges are sharp just like this. Play around with the size and do it numerically but it's way simpler to just enable snapping and have this snapping to the rotation center active. Then select the ellipse tool, go to the center it should snap. Then left click drag and hold control and shift at the same time and go to the bottom right corner and it should snap again. And this way you've got the perfect size without using any numbers. Select both, click on it again and rotate it while holding control. We need this edge of the rectangle on top. We want to select these two nodes, but before we can do, we first need to turn this circle into a path. So go to path and object to path, then use the nodes tool, select the top nodes and click on this icon to insert a new node. We need to make it snap. So have snap smooth nodes active and then you can drag it upwards until it snaps. The handles need to snap there as well. So let's drag them inwards. We can now select the black rectangle and just delete it. Rotate the red element while you hold control. Press control D, flip it horizontally and it should snap just like this. Select them both, get rid of the fill and add a stroke. So hold shift and click on the color swatch to have a stroke and click on the X to get rid of the fill. Now go to object, fill and stroke and under stroke style you can adjust the size of this stroke. Keep in mind it's still two elements so you may want to select it and go to path and union. If you want to give this element yet another stroke, you need to go to path and stroke the path. Then you can add another stroke, but in the center a problem arises. You can fix that by simply pressing Ctrl D on this shape, so you've got two. Then add your stroke, so the second one, and put it to the bottom. It's still selected and you can resize the stroke. And the center position doesn't have that problem, as the origin is on top of the copy. And this is how you can create this infinity symbol in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.